All right, everybody. What is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Good to be back. Had to take a little bit of a break, fellas, to uh, buff my mental health and nerf my pain and suffering. Yeah, I needed a sanity buff, fellas, so I had to take a little bit of a break from playing Call of Duty. You guys know I haven't really been feeling multiplayer the past couple years, and neither has anybody else. That's why it's pretty much dead. And if you don't believe me, Scumpy, come on in. Oh, Clayster says the Warzone could kill competitive co or Call of Duty multiplayer. Could this be true? I'm going to answer. You guys don't, right? Just in case you guys get fined, right? Just I'm going to put it as lightly as possible. Okay, it already did. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm co-signing that. That is the that most non-light answer you could have said. Well, I mean, it's, it's not like that. it's, you know, not apparent to everybody. I mean, look at Twitch, for instance. Look at the player base, like... <laughs> You know, Cold War has like 6k viewers. Warzone has like minimum 100 all the time. Here is my and Warzone question. has a tournament like every two days. They're playing for 100 grand every two days. There you go, fellas. The GOAT, Scumpy, he even came out and said this game is trash. So for all you people out in the comment section, well, he didn't really say it's trash. He said it's dead, which because it's trash. If it wasn't trash, it wouldn't be dead, right? So for all you people in the comment section saying, shut up, old man. Cold War is the best COD ever. <laughs> you just don't like the game because you suck at it. There's Scump. A dude who is good at the game. I don't think anyone will argue that. Way better than most of us. Uh, <laughs> this dude pump stomps pros. And if you guys remember at the Cold Snore Summer event, when Treyarch and Activision invited all the streamers and the YouTubers down to play the game uh, and hype it up for everybody, Skump was murdering all the streamers, all the YouTubers, pump stomping everybody, all these dudes that come out here. I got a thousand nukes on my channel, guys. Then they go up against Skump and then they're crying on Twitter because they're getting their butt kicked so bad. Uh, there you go. Skump's the real deal. And even he said the game is pretty much dead. And I'll tell you what, man, it's not because of Warzone, dude. It's because they gave up on multiplayer. If multiplayer was still fun and they made it free, I think it could hold its own against Warzone. Does anyone disagree with me? I think a fun Call of Duty multiplayer, one that's made properly with good maps, good streaks, I think it could compete against any game. I mean, Call of Duty multiplayer was like the greatest force in gaming for uh, almost a decade, probably even over a decade. It's just they gave up on it, man. I mean, if you look at the content drops that are coming out now, it's like they're trying to relive the glory days by giving us rehashed maps, trying to use nostalgia as a, a weapon and tug on the old heartstrings because they know they just don't have it anymore, man. They don't make good maps anymore. They don't make good COD games anymore. Uh, multiplayer, anyway. It's like they just gave up. Uh, I, I think multiplayer could definitely make a comeback uh, if they actually give a damn about making a... It seems like it's an inside job. It seems like multiplayer has been sacrificed uh, to Warzone. You know what I'm saying? Like, they sacrificed multiplayer. They made it trash intentionally to get everyone off it and onto Warzone so they could get that Fortnite bag. I've said this numerous times before in previous commentaries. I stand by it. Now, we do have a Season 5 content drop that's coming out that looks really good, actually. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to change the fact that Cold War sucks. The perks are boring as hell. The streaks are trash. And everything about the game is bad. That is correct. Especially the matchmaking. The most crippling, thickest, skill-based matchmaking in any COD game to date. And just, I mean, awful matchmaking. I shouldn't have to wait so long to get put in a lobby just to play against dudes who have higher KDs than me just because I refuse to buy microtransactions. And believe me, I'm going to get into this in my next commentary. I'm going to lay something out for you guys. I think a lot of you guys already know where I'm going to go with it too. I'm pretty sure if I bought microtransactions in this game, my matches would be a lot less sweaty and I would find a lot better connections and I would have a more casual experience if I spent money, of course. Uh, I have not bought any skins in Cold Snore or uh, Modern Snorefare just because I can't stand the games. I hate the game, so I refuse to support them by buying skins. But if buying skins will put me in more casual lobbies, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should reconsider. It's too late now, man. Call of Duty Vanguard is going to be dropping in. I don't know. They haven't announced it yet. I'm assuming it's going to be out in October, right? So a couple more months. So I'm going to hold off. Maybe I'll open up the old wallet when Vanguard drops. I uh, haven't bought anything in COD since I bought the Vampire Hunter Mastercraft weapon skin in uh, Black Ops 4, uh, but that is because I could actually see the weapon. I could see it. Spending tons of money on skins just so I could look at my glove don't make much sense, bro. <laughs> I just spent like $100 on skins. Oh, look at my glove. It's, you know, all you can see is your glove, bro. Look, look. I mean, look at this right here. All I'm looking at is my glove. <laughs> 
But anyway, <laughs> let's get into this juicy Season 5 content. And if you're a 6v6 traditional Call of Duty player like myself, then this is what you've been waiting all year for. Finally, on August 12th, you know, a couple months before the game's life cycle is officially over, they're finally going to drop some pretty nice content here, fellas. They saved their best for last. They've given us four 6v6 multiplayer maps. And these maps alone just might get me back on this horrific game, which I will probably only last maybe half hour, one hour tops on. Uh, but anyway, man, let's get into it, fellas. Look at these maps, man. We got Drive-In coming back, the map you just saw me playing on. One of the best maps in Black Ops 1, a fantastic DLC map. I can't remember what map pack Drive-In was in in Black Ops 1, but yo, the map is great. I've seen people complaining about rehashed maps. Whatever, dude. They're way better than the maps that came with the game, so I'll take it. I don't care, man. Just give me a map I can play on, damn it. They're giving uh, Drive-In back. They're giving us Zoo back. And they are also bringing back Slums again. <laughs> And, and Echelon, another 6v6 map. No idea. It's probably trash. But I know Slums, Zoo, and Drive-In are fantastic. All the OG maps are fantastic. The new maps are trash. Okay, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of OG maps that are trash too. But there was good maps too that came with the game. They weren't all trash like they have been with the previous two COD games. Uh, the last two COD games, pretty much every map is horrific unless they do a remaster. Uh, Activision needs to completely revamp their map making division <laughs> just come, whatever you're doing man just go back to the way you used to do things i think they know this that's why they're constantly bringing back old maps uh like this dlc drop you got three recycled maps coming back not even hating dude i'm happy uh, slums whatever it, they bring it back every single time uh, i think drive-in this is the first time they're bringing it back and uh yeah whatever <laughs> they're better than the ship maps that's all i can say fellas so pretty happy to see these maps coming back not going to change the way the game plays because the game is still absolute doo-doo uh zoo is a really cool map i'm looking forward to playing on that without it being infested with ghost dudes because you guys remember black ops one every time you got on zoo it was like a ghost pro fest ghost pro is like the only perk that then again that's every dlc map in black ops one is like 99 percent of everyone just used the ghost pro anyway so that's what ruined the uh, dlc maps in black ops one so i'm looking forward to playing zoo without everyone rocking ghosts that'll be pretty cool uh zombies is getting some cool stuff too fellas they're getting a new perk death perception which is pretty much the same perk from uh you can see zombies through walls i guess it's pretty much that team link perk from black ops 4 see friendly teammates through walls uh, you're gonna be able to see the zombies through walls that doesn't really sound like a great perk to me but i don't know maybe it has a, a real good use in zombies i would love to have the team link perk in cold snore because i have so much trouble distinguishing who's on my team and who's on the other team while i'm playing that game i guess that was a big hardcore perk yeah i need that here in regular core multiplayer too that would be fantastic so zombies and multiplayer is getting some cool stuff as far as war zone goes you guys know i'm not really much of a war zone guy so i'm not really going to touch too much on this but uh man war zone man you guys got it made not only do you have a free game if you could sidestep all the hackers you could actually have a pretty decent time playing this i guess if you got the time uh they're adding a new gulag rush they're adding some new perks combat scout and tempered uh new map updates the mobile broadcast station adding a whole bunch of weapons operators uh the marshals are coming back now are the marshals just coming back for Warzone, or the, i i mean i'd have to imagine you'd be able to use them in regular multiplayer too right the marshal the uh, shotgun pistol that is a weapon from black ops 3 i remember the akimbo marshals were nasty uh, some new bundles too, whatever. The flamethrower score streak coming back. And a uh, cane melee weapon. Yeah, well, there you go. For the old man. For all the old men playing. There's our cane. <laughs> and uh, still no Cujos though, fellas. I thought they were going to put dogs in this game. Still no Cujo score streak. Instead, they're giving us the mixtape, the flamethrower. Wasn't the flamethrower already a score streak in this game? I, I, I can't remember if it was or wasn't. Or, or if, are they just bringing the flamethrower to Warzone? I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't played Cold War in months, man. I think the flamethrower was already a multiplayer just now. I think they're going to be able to use it in uh, Warzone. Whatever, man. Bring the dogs, damn it. Imagine having the dogs in Warzone. How much fun that would be. <laughs> I feel like the last person left in the circle and you got the dogs. Just call in the Cujos. <laughs> that would 
be so rotten. You would definitely win. If I that's what I would do. I would get the dogs and just save it for the final circle, and they'd be like, "Unleash the hounds." <laughs> That'd be so awesome. That's probably why they're not putting the dog score streak in the game, though. That would not be fair because it's pretty much be a guaranteed win. Even if the dude killed all the dogs, he'd be so busy fighting the dogs, you could easily pick him off and he would give his position away. Anyway, all right, guys. So the content drop looks pretty good. Let's go back to the gameplay here on Drive In. Uh, but like the homie Blame Truth said, man, it is like putting the cherry on top of a poop Sunday, which is exactly what this content drop is like. You got some pretty cool maps. Uh, but whatever, man. Listen, guys, we're close. We're close to the end. Cold Snore is almost dead. A couple months to go before Vanguard comes out. Is Vanguard going to be worse than this game? Oh, my God. This, that's hard to imagine. I say this every year. I, I'm, I told you, I'm done being like, oh, I hope the next COD is good. Now I'm just like, forget the next COD being good. How bad is it going to be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it's come to. Like, how bad is it going to be? Sledgehammer Games could surprise us, though. I like the World War II era. I like what they did with uh, COD World War II after the overhaul in April. So they could surprise us. Uh, I'm pretty sure the matchmaking, though, is going to be horrible. Unless the dudes in charge of skill-based matchmaking all get fired for the uh, alleged sexual harassment and the, uh, you know, the cube crawls and the butt plugs they got going on over at Activision Blizzard. Unless all those dudes, hopefully, th that sounds like someone who is in charge of skill-based matchmaking. That sounds like something that they would do. You know what I mean? They, they like torturing people. They like the butt plugs and the cube crawls and humiliating and degrading people. That that pretty much sounds like someone who'd be in charge of skill-based match. Hopefully those dudes all get fired and they just bring back regular connectivity matchmaking for Vanguard, man. That would be great because I like playing casually, man. I don't like playing in rigged skill-based matchmaking tournaments for free, man. I, I just don't like doing it. It just it feels wrong, damn it. So anyway, fellas, the Season 5 content uh, other than the cool maps, I think I might try and get some Kane gameplay just because I think it would be hilarious to have the OG Old Man Thunder running around with a cane beating down these young sweats. It would just be a hilarious live com. It'd be a pretty funny upload. So I think I'm definitely going to get back on Cold Snore. I know, I know, shocking, but just for the laughs, man, just to run around with a cane, not take the game seriously. Because uh, I think if you just don't take Call of Duty seriously at all, which is pretty much the only way you can play it. Uh, just forget about getting good scores, forget about streaks and all that other stuff, forget about pub stomping, and just go out there and troll people, just go out there and try and have fun. Uh, like going out there, my old ass going out there with the cane, smacking these sweats around with the cane, I think would be hilarious. If you guys want to see me run around in cold snore with that cane and smack people up, let me feel you in the comment section, man. Smack that like button. <laughs> Definitely get into that. And yo, check it out, man. The Cujos. Oh, come on in, baby. I miss the Cujos so much. And the chopper gunner, man. Oh, all right, fellas. We're going to play. We're going to close it out with a little chopper. Oh, no. All right. Forget it. Damn. You got, you guys got teased right there, huh? You thought I was going to get some chopper gunner time. Nope. The match ended. <laughs> the match ended. Here come the Cujos. Oh, I miss you guys so much. And what a perfect way to end a match with my Cujo devouring a ghost bitch in the back of the map. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. That's one of the best things Black Ops did. They did not make Ghost work against the SR-71 or the dogs. Nope. Anyway, that's about the only thing they got right with Ghost and Black Ops 1. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know I've been away for a while. I'm going to try and upload more consistently. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm even going to try and upload another one today. What? Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support, and I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.